Welcome to season three of Wild Ideas Worth Living presented by REI Co-op. I'm Shelby Stanger. Two years ago, I had a wild idea to start a podcast featuring the people I find inspiring, the ones out there living wild adventures and charting their own course. Over the past two seasons, I've interviewed some unbelievable athletes, adventurers, activists, authors, photographers, chefs, scientists, and more. They've shared stories about what inspired them to do what they do and provided tips and tricks to help our listeners chase down their own dreams and adventures. People have told me how they face their darkest moments, what they think about on the trails, what inspired them to change their lifestyle, break records, why they make art, how they've become best-selling authors, and how they hope to help others. Hearing stories from these badasses seems to be working. I've received heartwarming comments from listeners about how this show has affected them. For some, the show has kept you company on a long run or hike. For others, it's been the push you were looking for to start that business or move across the country. Knowing this show is helping people take the next step in starting their own adventure, well, that's the best part about making this podcast. So this season, we're changing things up. We're taking a deeper dive into bigger topics with people I think you'll find interesting. Topics range from mindfulness to why you should say yes to fear, how rock stars and comedians you might know use the outdoors to influence their performance, and how to hack your health using nature even more. We're also sharing stories of some incredible characters who are shifting the way we think about the outdoors, about fitness, technology, and more. I've already recorded the first few episodes, and I think you're going to like what we have in store, so here's a taste. I mean, you sit down and, you know, they say, okay, pay attention to your breath. It sounds really simple. And then about 15 minutes into it, you are thinking of 9 million things other than paying attention to your breath. And then you're two hours into it. And then you're a day and a half into it. It's just kind of amazing what happens when you actually sit down and inspect what's going on inside your mind. It's really, I think... uh, probably the key to living a happy and satisfying life, honestly. I love researching people who are the best at what they do. And when you look at, you know, whether that's a pro basketball player or a surfer or whatever, they're fully focused and they're not distracted I'm a classically trained violinist. I'm not a violinist by being distracted. Like it took me hours, hundreds and thousands of hours for me to practice to get to where I am today. And so I didn't have my phone with me. Like you can't do both. And so whether you want to be a writer or whether you want to be an athlete or whether you want to be, you know, a dancer or serve your clients in a certain specific way, like you have to be completely focused. And I think that's what is the the key to unplugging is saying, what am I wanting to accomplish in my life? And what do I need to do to make that happen? For what it's worth, I know from my experience, if I am afraid of something, it means I have to do it. I have to approach that goal because anytime I have faced a fear or something that I'm afraid of or something I think I'm not capable of, and we all have fears were like, I'm not capable, I'm not worthy. But you know what, if you switch that in your mind and you say, you know what, I'm worthy. I guarantee when you break through that goal, you will realize a new sense of self and it's a beautiful, beautiful gift. No gold medal, no standing on a podium would do it justice. Keep an ear out and hit subscribe so you don't miss our first full episode of season three coming out January 16th. You can find Wild Ideas Worth Living on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, REI.com, or wherever you get your podcasts.